today i'm going to show you guys how to import your models from roblox studio into blender with their textures so yeah let's get it let's say you have models that you want to export from roblox studio and import into blender what we would do first is we would select all the models that we want we go up to the explorer tab right click and then go all the way down to save and export and then export selection once we click export selection we could just save it to our downloads and i would suggest saving it in a separate folder so i'm just going to name this model because it's in the model folder for now and save and once that's done saving now we're going to go into blender all right now in blender we would go up to file go down to import and go to wavefront obj once you click this it'll open your files and you could just select the model that we just exported from roblox studio here's my model i'm going to click it press import make sure you press the obj and not the mtl and once you do you should see it somewhere in here. For some reason, I forgot to center it when I exported it. So what we can do is go up to object, press trans, no, set origin, then press origin to geometry. Now you can move it easily. At this point with their models in, you probably think this is not bad and we have all the correct colors, but it's actually not the best. And as you can see, we have no textures on here. It's just the colors. If we were to go to this viewport, now it's all the textures, but no colors. And this is just really annoying and it's very hard to deal with if you're not good with texturing. So there's actually a free plugin that we can use in Blender to easily get the textures and the colors to sync properly and work in Blender perfectly. Go into your browser and head to this website right here. I know it is a long link, so I will leave it in the description. But once you get here, this is the plugin we're gonna need for Blender. So I know it says purchase again right here. Obviously I already have it, but for you it should just say purchase. And no, you're not really purchasing anything. This plugin is free. So all you have to do is type in zero. But if you would like to give the owner of this plugin some money, you can type in however much you want. But obviously for me, I just want it for free. So I'm gonna click zero and press purchase. Once you do press purchase, you will see a little spot up here to type in your email. Go ahead and do that. And then again, if you don't want to give the guy any money, type in zero, then just go down and press get. And once you do that, it should bring you to this page right here. I don't know what this bottom download is. I'm assuming it's something to help this one, but this is the only one I downloaded and it works perfectly for me. So I would just suggest downloading this first one right here. Once you click download, it will automatically start downloading to your computer in a zip file. So all you need to do is extract the file and put it in your downloads or something but just make sure you take it out of the zip file. And if for some reason you don't know what I mean by zip file, once you open your downloads, you should see something like this. All you're gonna do is right click and go to extract all. And once you do that, you can just press extract and then it'll extract somewhere in your computer, probably your download section. But please make sure you do this step because otherwise it will not show up in Blender. And now back in Blender, what we're gonna do is go up to edit, down to preferences, and we're gonna go to add-ons right here. Then we're gonna click install. If you do not see install, there should be a little drop down arrow right here and it should say install from disk. I'm pretty sure that's only on Mac, but otherwise you should just see it install. Once you do click install, you should be able to go to your download section and just start typing in the name of the plugin or folder or wherever you saved it. And you should see something like this. Just click it, press install add-on, and it should automatically pop up right here. If for some reason it doesn't automatically pop up, just again, go to the search bar, type it in and yeah. Make sure you click this box right here so that it's really installed and will show up. And then you can X out of the whole window. Now we're gonna click this little arrow and drag it. And we're gonna go all the way down to the plugin we just added. If you don't have any other plugins, it should be somewhere up here. But for me, it's right here. And now this is the fix it button. This button will fix all the textures of any models I select. So now I will select the models that are in here that we imported before. And as you can see right now, it has some textures, but no color. And in other viewports, it has colors, but no textures. That's a problem. But with this button, now it's fixed pretty much. I really don't know what it does, but it like combines the color texture and the actual texture texture and makes it good. 
pretty much helps you import things smoothly from Roblox Studio and easily into Blender. But um, yeah, I hope this video did help you guys out. If you have any questions about the plugin or anything we did in this video, you can ask me in the comments and I'll try my best to answer. Otherwise, join my Discord server for even more help from not only me, but a bunch of other people in there. But um, yeah, hope this did help you guys out and um, like and subscribe.